tokenization in python uh, this is a very easy job that is to be done so first let us understand what is tokenization Uh, before understanding what is tokenization, let us understand how to install the NLTK package which is used for performing the natural language tasks in our Python environment. For that, we have to use the command pip install NLTK on the Anaconda shell. Anaconda is a huge package uh, that takes substantial space on your hard disk and it includes all the series of packages that are used to deal with Python. And it includes PyCharm, Jupyter, and other packages which are related to Python programming and data science. So, uh, on my machine, this was already installed. So, I got a uh, feedback like this is already there on the machine. So, you might get a different response depending on whether it is there on your machine or not. Then, what is tokenization? Tokenization is splitting the running text into individual words in the form of an array. For example, there is a uh, uh, string, this is a running text and after tokenization, the result will be that all the words in this particular sentence, they are uh, returned as a separate string, separated by commas in the form of a list. So, from this single string, we have generated multiple strings containing each word separately. So, performing to, in order to perform this type of tokenization, I have used Jupyter Notebook. So, first you have to import the NLTK package using the import NLTK command. Then you have to download the punct package. Now, this package is available online. So, when you will uh, run this particular command on Python, you have to, uh, if the internet is not connected, then error will be displayed. Otherwise, this package will be downloaded and true will be returned here in case it is downloaded properly. Then after this, you have to give a string. So, I have used, this is a running text and then tokens is a uh, object that I am using to store the result. And then I say NLTK dot word underscore tokenize. This function name is to be written as is because this is how this function is defined inside the NLTK package. So, uh, you have to use word underscore tokenize and in the bracket the string you want to tokenize and then we print tokens. So, we see here in the output we get this is a running text separately as separate strings in the form of a list. So, using this particular steps we can tokenize our sentences in Python. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.